Well, rarely has pulling on the rave green jersey mattered more. Tonight, Seattle Sounders can achieve three goals with just the one result. The Cascadia Cup will return to their clutches. They'll punch their ticket to the playoffs, and they could return to the top of the Supporters' Shield standings, all if they can vanquish Vancouver. Priori back in. Yeah, a little bit of a shake-up, obviously. Brad Evans and Eddie Johnson away on international duty, and then Zach Scott suspended, so Jimmy Troyori slides back into that defensive position. There was a terror up front. Yeah, Ostad's come in. He's done a very solid job for him. And Camilo, there's not a m more player in form in MLS right now than that man. So Seattle in the red green, Vancouver in all white. We are on the way at Century Link Field tonight. The Sounders could book their place in the playoffs. They could win the Cascadia Cup. They could go back to the top of the Supporters Shield standings. Estrada making the run from Traore's pass. What a throw for Seattle. Nagel quickly on here. Ostead makes a smothering save. It was very well done by David Estrada and Lamar Nagel. Yeah, it was. It was excellent. The two of them making eye contact. Lamar Nagel got the run in behind. Ostead did a fantastic job narrowing the angle, staying big, and not giving Lamar Nagel much of an opportunity to shoot at. Offside on Kakuta Mane, who has pace to burn. Well, Seattle rather turning the tables on their performance at Colorado. It's this time them with the quick thinking. Yeah, exactly. You see the quick run in behind Carlisle Mitchell. A little bit slow to react. And Vancouver, the tightest of defenses in Major League Soccer. They've conceded 41, but here's Mane. So much pace, as we mentioned. And the opening goal for Vancouver Whitecaps. It's the 18-year-old Kakuta Mane. And it's a stunning start for Martin Rennie's side. Well, we talked about that little bit of concentration issue that kind of came into the team. And look, it's a, it's a simple, not a very good clearance. And John Kennedy is too far off of Mane as it goes right back to the 18-year-old. And he's able to use his pace. Looked like for a second that maybe he'd taken it to a poor angle. Sperning thinks that he can get there before him, and Mene just slips it underneath of him for the opening goal of the match. And for all the talk of the Sounders wanting to clinch the playoffs tonight, and it's inevitable, I think, that they will at some point. They are looking for a first win in four games, as Nagel will hit one, and Osted was equal to it. Yeah, that's better from Nagel. Found that little space at the top of the box, got around Jay Demerit, decided to let fly, from about 24, 25. Fortunately enough for Osted in Vancouver, it went straight to the goalkeeper who comfortably tips over the bar, but that's better from the Sounders. Martins. Oh, if he could just have slipped that pass for Nagel. Now Camilo will try and do damage. The runner is Mane. He's in for number two here, Kakuta Mane. And Vancouver Whitecaps have doubled their lead, and it's a virtuoso display from the 18-year-old Kakuta Mane. So much attention has been paid to Camillo. I have no problem with the center back coming out of position to go with a single person, but then you have to tuck over and not allow that space in behind. You saw John Kennedy come over after Jimmy Traore was already out. Excellent touch from Camilo, and Mane slots his second one past Spurning to double Vancouver's lead. But you have to think, where's DeAndre Yedlin? Why is he the widest man on the field? As a defender, if you have nobody out there to mark, you have to come further inside. And when you have one center back who is leaving that area to follow one player, then everybody has to get together and congest that inside. But it means a good 40 minutes of Clint Dempsey to get his legs back. As Rose will try and clear, but it's won back by Kobayashi for the hat-trick now! Kakuta Mane! What an impact this young man has had! Two goals all season coming in tonight, and bang! A superb hat-trick! I don't think this is what the majority of the people 
in Central League Field were expecting tonight after that poor performance and conceding five goals in Colorado. It's a bad touch from Andy Rose giving possession back to Vancouver. Kobayashi slots Mane and that Sounders defense just having gaping holes. Mane able to run through clean in on Spurning again. And for the third time, the 18-year-old doesn't miss. Well, this is a, an intense skating game. They've always been played in a very good spirit. As Rizzo has put a beautiful one to Iani, cracking off the bar. Maybe it's an evening where it won't. To get in a good bit of form, hopefully pushing into the playoffs. Five on four here for Clint Dempsey to try and exploit. He's got Yedlin wide right. Here is DeAndre Yedlin. Ray Green shirts pouring into the box. Decent ball towards Martins. Alonso will strike it. Martins stops it himself. Rosales scores. Could this be the start of the comeback? Well, it's interesting. I was talking before the game, Ross, about how Vancouver just drops back and doesn't mark anybody. You saw as that ball went into the goal. Three Vancouver defenders standing back there, not marking anybody, and allowing just tons of time and space at the top of the box. Ozzy Alonso with the first shot, it's cleared, falls to Mara Rosales, still not a Vancouver defender stepping up to put the Sounders under pressure, and Mara Rosales makes him pay. And hope is alive at Century Link Field. We go again. It's Mauro Rosales. It's four on three. DeAndre Yedlin with a real chance. Osted with the save. Wondered whether we'd hit it first time. Rosales with another cross. And this time Osted is a very relieved man. Well, Seattle were very nearly in for number two. I thought I was wrong when I got my pre-match scouting report on Vancouver and the way that they defended. They hadn't done it for 64, 65 minutes, and all of a sudden they just start dropping into poor defensive shape. DeAndre Yedlin almost making him pay. Not often you see that. He's helped create the space for a Rosales cross. YP Lee away, and now the break is on. This would always happen with Seattle pushing men forward. It's Rio Coca. He's not scored this season, but he's got Camilo inside him. And it's Rio Coca through the legs of Spurning for the second time this season. Nigel Rio Coca has surely put the tin hat on this one. Patrick Ayani takes a little bit of a gamble and tries to win the ball as the last defender inside the Vancouver half. Rio Coker just keeps running and keeps running. Ozzy Alonso looked like he pushed him into a good angle for Michael Sperning. Michael Sperning just getting it all wrong. It looked like his hand position. He's trying to pin the ball down. And he's just unable to close the legs. Then with a good chance. Nagel and Obafemi Martin's getting in each other's way for another great chance. So you have to say Vancouver, yes, it looks good at times, but they still have some defensive issues.